Canada's pastime hockey is known for its players missing teeth, the fist fights, and the crazed fans throwing perfectly good hats onto the ice. That's right, every time a player scores a hat trick, the fans rip off their hats and throw them onto the ice. But this leaves two questions. How did this quirky sports tradition begin? And if I go to a hockey game with my pal Johnny Canuck and he peer pressures me into throwing my favorite hat onto the ice, can I get my hat back? And as it turns out, the answer to both of those questions is quite complicated. First, a hat trick is a term used in many different sports for a feat centered around the number three. Some of the sports that use the term hat trick include hockey, where a hat trick is a single player scoring three goals in a single game. Similarly, in soccer, a hat trick is a player scoring three goals in a match. In rugby, it is a player taking three tries in a game. In motorsport, it could have a number of different meanings. It could mean winning three races in a row. It could mean winning the same race three consecutive times in a row, such as every year for three years running. It could also mean finishing a single race with pole position, the fastest lap, and a race victory. Pole position being the front starting position of the race and is usually given to the fastest qualifying time for the race. But even though all of these other sports use the term hat trick, it is actually a term that originated with the sport of cricket. While there is some dispute and I had issues finding some reliable sources as to how this originated, the most common retelling of the story appears to center around the English cricketer H.H. H. Stevenson. It is said that during a cricket match in 1858, Stevenson took three consecutive wickets on three consecutive deliveries. The fans were so pleased that they took up a collection and bought Stevenson a new hat, thus originating the term hat trick. To this day in cricket, this feat is called a hat trick. Now in hockey, the term was adopted later, sometime in the 1940s or 50s. In an origin story of its own, a handful of local haberdashers in both Canada and the United States began awarding hats to hockey players of their local team that scored a hat trick. Those haberdashers all claim to be the originator of both the term and the tradition. But times have changed and no longer are our favorite athletes so underpaid that they rely on the kindness of fans and haberdashers for their headwear. Because of this, a new tradition began in the sport of hockey. You may look at the hockey fans on TV or beside you in the arena right now and wonder why so many of them are wearing old worn out hats. Well, nowadays, in the event a player scores a hat trick, after the third goal, it is customary to throw your hat onto the ice. This is why you might want to wear an old, worn-out hat. But let's say you didn't wear your old hat. Let's say you wore your favorite hat, and now the guy next to you is telling you that you have to throw out your favorite hat. Now, when you eventually succumb to the peer pressure, the question is, will you ever see your hat again? Can you get your hat back? The answer is maybe. It depends on which hockey arena you're in. Each arena has their own rules for dealing with the hats that get thrown onto the ice during a hat trick. The default approach seems to be to offer the players to keep a hat as a souvenir, and then they donate the rest of the hats. The teams that take this approach are the Ducks, Coyotes, Sabres, Hurricanes, Avalanche, Stars, Red Wings, Kings, Canadians, Predators, Rangers, Penguins, Sharks, Blues, Lightning, and Maple Leafs. Two teams used to discard hats, and some of the information out there still says they do, but appear to have moved on to donating the hats instead. Those teams are the Flames and the Blackhawks, who on at least one occasion in 2017 donated them to the Chicago Sports Museum for a display. Five of the teams allow you to retrieve your hat after the game before the hat is donated. These are the arenas you want to be in if you want to see your hat again. Those teams are the Panthers, the Canucks, the Senators, and the Wild. The Wild actually donate new hats in place of the hat you throw. And the fifth in this category is the New York Islanders. And while they appear to allow the hats to be retrieved, I couldn't source what happens to the hat after that. Most likely they are donated, since that appears to be the default option for most teams. Two of the teams seem to go between donating some of the hats and also retaining some of the hats. 
The Bruins started a tradition in 1999 of keeping one hat for an internal display in their facilities before donating the rest. And the Oilers appear to have a stock of hats on hand from previous hat tricks. They actually pulled some out during a home game hat trick without the fans this last year during COVID and staff members threw those hats onto the ice. But the hats that aren't kept for posterity by the team are donated. Four of the teams currently display the hats in their arenas, usually behind some sort of plexiglass display with tons of hats filling the case. So if you're wondering in these arenas if you would see your hat again, the answer is possibly, as long as it gets a primo spot in the display. Those teams are the Blue Jackets, the Flyers, the Capitals, and the Jets. And finally, the remaining three are holding onto the hats for the possibility of a future display. That'd be the Golden Knights, the Kraken, who just recently recorded their first hat trick as a franchise. The plan for those hats is to display them in the team-owned bar and grill. And lastly, the New Jersey Devils, who I had a difficult time sourcing what exactly happens to these hats, but found two places suggesting that they are kept with a potential plan of some kind of future display. Now there is a good chance that you may be going to a hockey game because of free hat night, a night where you receive a free team hat. On more than one occasion, a hat trick has occurred on free hat night, meaning that the entire arena is equipped with hats ready to rain them down on the ice. When that has happened in the past, the teams have attempted to collect those hats and redistribute them at the end of the game as people leave. Now you might be thinking that your hat is safe at other sports. Well, you would be wrong. On at least one occasion, hats were thrown at a baseball game. In 2015, after Edwin Encarnacion's third home run of the game, fans in Toronto threw their hats onto the field to show their gratitude. While giving a post-game interview, Encarnacion had the hats in a bag beside him. When asked what he was gonna do with the hats, he said that to show appreciation for throwing the hats on the field, he'd like to sign them and return them to their owners. What a stand-up guy. A hat trick can be one of the most exciting times in any sport. If you've ever bowled a turkey, you know how exciting that can feel. Side note, bowling calls it a turkey, for a similarly bizarre history of awarding turkeys to bowlers back in the day. And it is scoring three strikes in a row while bowling. Anyway, next time you're at a hockey game and a player scores a hat trick, if you want your hat back, you better be sure you're in one of these team's arenas. If you've enjoyed diving down this rabbit hole with me, please consider liking and subscribing. Also drop some suggestions in the comments of other kinds of videos you'd like to see. Until next time, hold on to your hats.